18th of February 2020. My name is Sergey Baklakov. I continue my video blog now here in St. Petersburg, northern capital of Russia, which is, as we already know, famous not only for its beautiful architecture, rivers, canals, and embankments, and uh, not even for uh, bridges or uh, courtyards, specific isolated courtyards courtyards wells that I used to show in my previous videos but also for its lions yes lions here is uh, maybe up to thousands of them lions the guards of this city but today in this video I'm gonna make now top 10 of lions of St. Petersburg in the same time it's not going to be a hit parade like I'm not gonna compare which one is better or worse but just top 10 like the most significant lines and I'm gonna start with this one it's a lion's bridge the lion's bridge is located next to Gribayev Canal House 97 it's a unique memorial of architecture of St. Petersburg it's a hanging bridge where cast iron supports are hidden behind the lion's heads. Their jaws are connected to each other with cables. Uh, the bridge was opened in 1826 and uh, the smaller copy of this bridge constructed in 1838 you can also find in Tiergarten Park in Berlin, Germany. Wow, that is what unsnowy winter this year in St. Petersburg makes. The water floods. The level got pretty high. Here was an ice, now it melts. And the level of water raises pretty much. Now this is the real St. Petersburg, rainy, cloudy, but beautiful. After Lions Bridge, if you will keep walking, Grybayev Canal in the side of Nevsky Prospect then you will get to so-called Bunks Bridge and there's a uh, lion grief on there but for now I just walk and enjoy Dostoevsky places that's where one of the most significant Russian writers Fyodor Dostoevsky used to live himself and where he settled down uh, the heroes of his novels like Crime and Punishment, Rodion Raskolnikov, Sonia Vormiladova. Here is already as much of lines in St. Petersburg as nobody knows for sure the exact amount. But the local historian says about thousand. Uh, many different statues of uh, lines made of marble, made of cast, made of copper and uh, crude iron as uh, produced as in Russia, as uh, exported from other countries like Italy, China, Israel. Uh, the thing is, the lion is a king of animals for this reason. People, uh, back in those days, uh, they are uh, considered them as a symbols of uh, courage, force, power and authority. The uh, fashion to decorate the houses, parks and squares with uh, lion sculptures came from uh, Europe in the years of Peter the Great. Statues of lions began to appear in St. Petersburg as well. Uh, some of them laying some of them sitting and many of them are uh, holding the paws on the ball in the uh, antique and uh, medieval times people were thinking that the lions are sleeping with an opened eyes and uh, therefore they are an uh, ideal like a perfect guards who defend uh, the house from the evil spirits the rain is keep going, but I came to the next place. This is St. Petersburg State Economical University. And right next to it, here is Banks Bridge, where is located our second lion's place. Also four lions, which is lion's grief phones. And it is already uh, uh, almost next to K-1 
Kazan Cathedral and the Nevsky Prospect. They're on the background church of the Savior on spilled blood. Seems like many people touch this. So here is the caption. Только без рук, only without hands, means don't touch it. Yeah, you see they were touching this. And what we have? You know, this bunk bridge was opened in just 25 days after the Lions Bridge. And I guess it's not hard to understand. Both bridges are projected by the same architects. The building of nowadays State Economical University here is a former building of the Credit Bank of Russia. And uh, the lines depicted as a griffons or as a griffins, um, they are like there's the belief that they are uh, good as a guards of treasures. So that's why they are here next to the former bank. Around the students, there's also another funny belief that. If the virgin student girl of the fifth grade of university will cross the bridge, it will fall down. Well, it's staying here. It seems like there's already no virgins at the fifth grade of university. Now this is Nevsky, the next line I want to show you, not far, it's right next to the gates to Russian Museum. The Russian Museum is there and in front of Russian Museum here is a grand hall of uh, St. Petersburg State Philharmonic named after Dmitry Shostakovich. This is the place where for the first time in St. Petersburg they performed Symphony No. 7 of Dmitry Shostakovich, Leningradska Symphony. The museum is closed today. Tuesday is a day off and uh, they never let me to get in. But I've got a zoom lens so I still can film it for you. These lines staying next to the entrance of Russian museums are made inspired by an antique sculpture found in Rome, Italy, yet in 16th century. Too bad that the museum is closed today and uh, the security guard is so ridiculous that never let me to get in even though these lines are staying outside i said i need just two minutes to film the lines and he said no that's ridiculous the next significant lines are located in the house of Labana Frostovsky, the building right next to uh, St. Isaac Cathedral, right on the corner. Now it is turned into the hotel. These are two guard lines. They were made in Italy by Paolo Triscurni and then exported here to Russia. Many lines in St. Petersburg are depicted like this, holding the POW on a ball. And that's to show that they are actually will never fall asleep because as soon as they will and if they will fall asleep uh, the ball will just roll off out of their paws and uh, this will bust them so they will wake up this palace of uh, Labanov Rostovsky was architected by August Monferran it's curious because this is the same architect who uh, constructed St. Isaac's Cathedral 
Now here is uh, Deluxe Class Four Seasons Hotel, opened in 2013. Okay, dudes, the next line is uh, behind the Admiralty on a ferry. Probably one of one of the most famous lions in St. Petersburg. The very beginning of Nevsky. The ferry next to Admiralty. Winter Palace. Palace Bridge. I remember last year I filmed an artistic video with just the music about spring coming to St. Petersburg and it was starting with uh, the broken ice moving by Neva River. This year here wasn't any ice on Neva and it, it's fluted as well. Look. Here was a whole section of the steps here as well. Now only one step is available. All the rest is fluted. These are really probably the most famous sculptures of lions because uh, the location here is uh, king. They are created by blueprints of uh, not less famous Russian architect Karl Rossi in 1832. Uh, statues are made with copper. Their faces are omnios and bears. Their paws are also holding the bull. Seems like they guards, they defend the Winter Palace and the Admiralty. Unfortunately, bad-mannered tourists used to sit down on them and once even there was a scratch and it was restored. Now it's restored and everything good. The next line we need is like it. It's across the Palace Bridge. It's at Vasilevsky Island. At the speed of Vasilevsky Island. There we go. Wow, it's interesting, but I have found some ice. I'm not sure why half of river is uh, not in ice, a half of river is in ice. Maybe there an icebreaker was coming through, or maybe it's pretty shallow here. Well, now this is an embankment of the speed of Vasilisky Island and uh, the uh, sculptures of the faces of uh, the lions are all around here. Let's look at this. Continue walking. The next line is also not that far, not that far from the speed of Vasilevsky Island, at the embankment of uh, an Admiral Makarov, in front of the house number four. Come on. People informally call these lines as a philosophists. They are kind of chilled, laying with thoughtful faces. They are serious, but not omnios. We are now going to Universitetske, University Embankment, to the next line. And look, here is the building where above each window there is also the faces of lions. They are the real guards of this city. Kind of windy here. University embankments. 
at first I, th I thought she is a desperate young Russian. But actually, no, here is the ground. And now are the sphinxes at the uh, university embankment. Sphinxes, they are lions too. The lions with the lion's body, but with the human face. In ancient Egypt, the lions with the human heads impersonated the power of Pharaon. Egyptians made the stone sculptures of lions and placed them next to the temples and uh, next to the tombs for defense from the evil spirits. Later, instead of uh, the head of lion, they began to carve the head of Pharaon and began to think that Sphinxes has a power of lion and uh, an intellect of human. These are mites, the oldest sculptures in St. Petersburg because they were found during the excavations in the 1820 in Egypt. But the faces depict uh, the face of Pharaon Aminhotep III and he ruled Egypt in 14th century BC. You hear me? BC. So these sphinxes can be up to 3,500 years old. Double corona shows the authority of Pharaon Amenhotep III was as above Upper Egypt as about as above uh, Lower Egypt. Somehow in 1830 these sculptures just became an items for sale which Russia purchased. Now going to one more place. I came to the last place, Verdlovskaya Embankment House number 40, which is a dacha, dacha, summer house of Besborodko. This is the last name of the guy who used to own this. And there's, you know, there was a lot of lions that were staying across the, uh, across the building. But now there goes the restoration, reconstruction. And they temporarily removed it. Well, maybe next time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this today's top of uh, the most significant lions of St. Petersburg. Comment, like, subscribe, and keep supporting my channel with Patreon. If you want more videos, if you want more frequent videos, and the main thing, more interesting videos in uh, more decent places of Russia. See you.